จารุวันโชติเทวันชีวะเกษมสุขโอนน้ำพึ่ง is one busy mother and heir to the Saha Farms Empire, which is Thailand's leading poultry producer. She's not only the managing director of Golden Lion Business, a subsidiary of the Saha Farms Group, but is also working in the financial and accounting department of other subsidiary, Food for the World. Juggling work and family is a skill every modern-day Korea mom needs to develop, and sometimes you definitely need some professional help. Having a baby daughter was a great surprise not just for Nam Pung and her husband c h e l a k c h i w a k a s e m s u k or Fluk, but for the family on both sides. Everyone was thrilled to welcome Yara, a new family member, much sooner than they had expected. So, did you expect it to have Yara at once, or was um, it like it's like a surprise, surprise. thing? Oh. Yeah, because many people said that it's hard to have a baby, so you should not control. You should, you know, just. Make it natural. Make it natural. Oh. Yeah. So. So you didn't have any like birth control plans at all. You were <laughs> no. like, no. Okay. At first we plan. We plan to have a baby maybe two years after we marriage, but then a lot of you know my parents and his parents yeah. said that I should not. So everybody in the family surprised because it was only like me married this month and then next month I got pregnant. Yeah. So how do you feel to be a like a new mom at once? Well, is that well, life change from being a teenager, working woman, and now um, like mom? It's quite hard to say. I don't know. <laughs> At first, I was surprised that I got pregnant, but then when I got used to it, it's okay. And and the first and after delivery, I mean, after giving birth to Yara, yes. it's quite hard in the first few months. It's very hard. Nobody said that in the first few months it will be this hard, and it's hard. Mm. Yeah, because I hardly sleep, and I have to look after her, and she's very new thing, and you know, new baby, and we just don't know what to do. Oh, and Yara, why this name? This beautiful name, Yara. I love this name. Like, what yeah. does it mean? Yes. Well, it's actually my name. My nickname is Nam Pung, yes. which is water things, and yeah. Chalak. My husband's name is meaning. It's also water as oh. well. So we want our sh our child to name. Water, something. So, um, so Yara is came from the name of the Yara River in Australia, where we went for for a pre honeymoon. Oh, yeah. And we, as our hotel is at the um, Crow Casino, which yes. is next to the Yara River. So we gave her the name. A working mom, Nam Pung admits she only gets to spend time with her daughter in the evenings and on weekends. But that makes them all realize how special family time is. So, how do you spend time together as a family? Both of you are working, as you said, your schedule is quite busy. So, yes. on the weekends or yeah, having um. A family time is only be weekend and public holiday, oh. because I have to work full time and also my husband has to work full time. If he has time, he will come and look after the baby because his office is only like five minutes walk from here. So oh. um, in the afternoon, during his lunch time, if he has time, he will come back home to play with Yara, and in the evening he. Because of his office is nearer to the home, so he actually come back home before me some days mm. to play with Yara. I try to come back home before seven, yes. so that I can have like an hour to play with her, and then another because she's going to bed at eight o'clock, and um, and so we have like another half an hour. Upstairs on the bed, talking and hugging and oh. kissing, and then every Fridays, if possible, I try to bring her to office so that she can, you know, see what I what I'm doing mm. in the office, and I can also see her activity as well. So she knows that Mama is working. Yes, <laughs> very hard. <laughs> very hard. If you choose to be a working mom, right? Why not be a full-time mom? Um. 
it's like a responsible things that I have to work for my parents and then I actually want to be a full-time mommy as well but but it's quite hard for me to do so because I have to work so I have to choose so you enjoy this lifestyle at the moment you okay I'm fine you're yeah. fine yeah, yes. I'm fine <laughs> having lots of excitement as well right it's challenging it's sometimes when work is very hard come home see the baby it's lovely mm. yeah. it makes lovely you like be home not tired anymore right yes make me warm and energized, you know, to play with the baby. Most families today have to face the fact that both parents need to work to support their family. While Nam Ping's case is of course much different from the rest of Thai society, it doesn't mean she can just quit her job and be a full-time mom. With both parents working, assistance is definitely needed Nam Pung has hired a professional nanny to help out. The nanny also helps teach Yara the qualities she's like to have in her kids and keeps the little girl from being too spoiled. How does she behave? She seems very like kind, gentle, at the same time very talented because I noticed that her nanny was saying that where's that book? And she actually owed that book and she went to the drawer and brought out that specific book. So I was like surprised. How did Yara know that that book was right there on that second drawer and she knew everything? Yes. Right. And she's just well, one year old. Yeah. I know. She's um. Well, that's the good thing about having professional nanny. So <laughs> whatever you want you to be, you can always tell the nanny and the nanny helping you to keep practice to the baby. Mm. Yeah. So you give the tips, the guidance to the nanny and yeah, what you want. on what I like to be because I don't like to spoil my baby. So nobody can spoil Yara. Oh. Except grandma. Both grandma always like to spoil Yara. <laughs> but she's still young. She has Yeah, but um but if she learns that, you know, everything she wants she must get and she got, mm -hmm. then if she learned that from the beginning she'd be like that when she grow up. Can you have a professional nanny and mm -hmm. how did you choose her? Like, how do you find her? Well, I actually uh, contract to many agencies before they used to send me a lot of nannies. But, um, but it's really depend on what you like and how you like to have your nanny. You can, mm. you know, you, you can have to see whether you can go along with her and to see how she raised the baby before it was like so many problems now. But now it's very okay. Any specifications for a nanny? Mm -hmm. Must she have like a child before? Because I heard that your nanny also mm -hmm. had a child before. Yeah. Well, actually, it's also to do with the with the age as well. Because mm -hmm. if the nanny is too old or too young, if she's too old, then she you know cannot catch the baby. And if she's too young, <laughs> she <laughs> wouldn't have like the experience of how to raise a child. Mm -hmm. But with this nanny I have, she's already have a baby before and her son is like 10 years old now and she so she knows how to really raise a child and she also raised many childs at many houses before. Oh. You said you wouldn't spoil your child. Could you please like uh, share more details on how you don't spoil her? Right, okay. Like as you know, we have a swimming pool inside our house. So basically, um, I told her that well, I practiced her that before she go to the swimming pool, she must wear swimming swimming suit. Mm -hmm. That is just to protect her when you know when she walk around, she will not jump into the water. She would know that if she has a swimming suit, then she can go into the water. That's right. Oh. Yeah, and also like you know how we have to travel a lot, and she has to sit in her car seat. Sometimes she cries so hard just to want to go out. Oh, she wants you to carry her. Yeah, that's why right. and. And I will not mm. let that happen because, you know, that's her place. She had to safety sit. first. Yeah, she had to sit in the car seat. Yeah. And I heard that she also sometimes would always sit on the Stroll stroller. Stroller. Right? Yeah, that's why. Right. Just you know, to practice her that um, when we go to the um, department store, sometimes we need to have lunch there or dinner there. Sometimes in the restaurant, that doesn't have like a baby seat. Mm -hmm. So she has to sit in the baby stroller so that she doesn't, you know, run around the restaurant while eating. Up 
Apart from the professional help, the family also makes use of modern technology. As Yara's parents cannot be with her all the time, they get to see her on the internet during the day using a CCTV system they have installed inside the house. Yara is now one year and two months old and Nam Pung and her family are already thinking of the child's future. Education is the most important topic for the entire family at the moment. Nam Pung and the grandparents on both sides want Yara to be educated at an international or bilingual school. However, the child's father wants Yara to go to a Thai school. Clearly, it's an issue that still has to be worked out. But the family has some time to talk about it. Meanwhile, what everybody seems to agree on is having more members in the family. Nam Pung says she is now trying to have a second child. Yes, so do you plan to have only two kids or even more? Well, actually I plan to have four because, wow. because personally I have five in the family. I have three older brothers and one younger brother, so me, five. Oh, and five brothers yeah, and sisters all together. Yeah, that's yes. right. And my husband, he only child in the family, so he always wanted to have like a big family because he felt lonely to, you know, to be only one. Mm. So he wanted to have like a lot of brothers and sisters, so he thinks that if he could have like four babies, it would be nice. Nam Pung has been planning for a new baby since June. Let's see if she will get lucky like she did the first time around. In the meantime, happy Mother's Day!